Omicron found to have a higher environmental stability among all other SARS-CoV-2 variants. What does that mean? Is it good or is it bad? I'm Dr. Arshay, your host, and if you want to know more about this, please follow me through this video. Alright, first of all, let me clear the air. This is a good news in my opinion, because from one side, Omicron has become less deadly and the symptoms are milder compared to the previous Delta variant. At the same time, it shows more stability in the environment, means it is here to stay with us. So for the virus to be able to stay with us, it needs to be less deadly and have a longer longevity in the environment. And in this way, it can transmit between the human and it can follow its path to stay in the environment. That's basically happened by the environmental selection. And so far it shows that Omicron is in that path. So this is a good news because we all basically know from the beginning that this virus won't suddenly turn to smoke and evaporate. These are the positive proof that this pandemic maybe is about to end. So this is study conducted in Japan, they compared uh, the Omicron variant with so many different variants including the Wuhan variant and also all other uh, mutated variants. They use a specific cell line to culture this virus and then they test the longevity of this virus on the different surface such as human skin and then they, they tested and compared them to each other to see which one lasts longer in the environment and apparently Omicron was the one that lasts longer compared to all others but keep that in mind this is just the beginning of these studies we need more studies uh, and especially for the relative mortality rate that can cause by the omicron we still not sure and we need more data once it 100 percent confirmed that omicron is really less deadly and the number of the mortality drop plus this matter we can kind of slowly slowly think that Mm, we kind of, we're going to be slowly approaching the end of this pandemic. So if this video was interesting for you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time.